Hi everyone, today we are here with another AI tool. Today we brought you guys DeepL, so let's get started. So DeepL has two different products, guys. So one is translating, which you can translate from all these different languages uh, that you can see to, yeah, other language you guys want. And they actually said that Japanese and Chinese, I think, had a really high translation um, like accuracy compared to uh, other websites. So they have a translation accuracy. It seems like they are over three times more accurate than their closest competitors. So their best one, I would say, is Google. But yeah, so when my viewer said that they translated using the this one to Japanese. It was very accurate. So I used it for Korean. Honestly, it wasn't bad. I thought I thought it was very good in terms of like the tone and manners. But there are definitely some words that this has not been taught and learned yet. Um, for example, my name is Jinri, but they cannot recognize names. I think uh, they did recognize some of like the. Uh, actors and actresses name i typed in like kim Yeon, which is an actor from the queen of tears if you guys watched it on netflix uh, and it actually translated exactly to kim Yeon. but since my name also has a meaning of truth they actually translated it as truth um they also didn't know a certain word like chuche which means organization or tirim is like from in in, in korean so in that sense, it was kind of like lacking a little, but I really liked it. I loved playing around. I love also how if you want to translate English, but you cannot type, you can use the voice and say, you know, like, hi guys, what's up, man? And then it translates it for you. Really love using this feature, especially if you're too lazy to type. Uh, and then they also have a translate files, uh, at least for the one in Korean. It does need to be more accurate, I think. I think the accuracy definitely drops for this one. I tested out a couple of ones. Um, I found some random PDF, or I just chat found one. And they give you the head title here. But as you guys can see, there's like Choi Choi. And I was like, what is Choi Choi? It was Chuche, like organization. So it still does need some work in that sense. But the fact that they can detect the language in the PDF was really cool. And next was my favorite. I would have to say my favorite because I wrote a random sentence. I actually just wrote this on the spot, like no grammar check, no nothing. My use of vocabulary is very bad. It's really poor. I don't know if you guys can notice. The only like fancy vocab I would have to say is like facial appearance, so I guess. Um but I could change it into different styles. I did this for academic, which was so fancy. Like they would use all different filler words, which was really cool. I also tried it business and casual, which works nicely. Uh, simple makes it super simple as if you're writing it on TikTok. So if you guys ever need to write a script, I would use this because when I ask like, for example, ChatGPT to write a script, it just writes it like, in a rough way but i think this helps out make the tone and manner much more smoother and nicer i think um depending on what setting you want to be in so i would have to say this is one of my favorite tools that I, if i were still in school i would definitely use this though i don't know what the teachers would think but if you have a major that requires a lot of writing this is definitely the one to use i think so that was the two, three, two or three tools that they mainly are pushing. Um, they are working with a bunch of companies for it. So you definitely have different pricing of like the using the pro one. For me as a student, I don't think you would need to use the pro, but um, it does give you like data security, text improvements, um, using alternative or using writing styles. So it's not bad, but I guess uh, if you do a lot of writing jobs or if you have like, if you need a lot of translation being done, if you're working in a company that works globally, then 
it wouldn't be yet bad using the pro version but i wish a lot of businesses would work with this team and have it for their company instead of an individual having to pay but yeah and it's also downloadable i didn't get to check it but you can have a desktop app or browser extension there's also one for mobile so you can check it out they also have integrations for microsoft word google workspace microsoft 365 and yeah so that's all for deep l anything i'm missing um you can have they also provide the apis for you guys to code if you guys want to but Definitely going to be helpful for those who need to write papers or that needs to do um, translation. Uh, I used to work at a trans, like, I used to do a lot of translation from Korean to English and vice versa. So I used Google a lot uh, to do like the rough version. But I think if you use this one, it's more exact, at least for the Korean. Uh, and i love their tone so much better uh so yeah if you guys want to see the whole um like work through walk through of this app check out my other video but this is all for learning about what deep l is so thanks for watching and see you guys on my other one bye guys